one. We're gonna run into the waves with Moana. What's that song? Yeah. Uh, find me. I am Moana. No, she's not. Prayest thou are having a happiest of Thursdays? Did thou snowest today? Tis speaketh Shakespearean day. Yeah. Tis also Friday. Thursday. Tis also Thursday. It is also St. George's Day, which as the patron saint of England, obviously makes St. George the most important saint. Obviously. What dost thou pondereth? Today's scripture comes from Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. I feel like this is a pretty popular scripture. Didn't we used to have a little key ring on our car keys that said this? Yes, this scripture has always been encouraging to me growing up as somebody who felt like I stood out. It was just really encouraging to hear that you don't feel like you fit in because you're not supposed to fit in. Sometimes, generally, it's easier to conform to the world than to be the, the Christian who stands out. One of the things that I ask people when they apply to work at camp is, would people around you know you were a Christian? Would your friends at college, would your friends at school, would your people you work with, like whoever, like would they know you are a Christian? I think there's definitely a link between that question and what we're asking here. Are you living out like the world standards of life or are you living out God's? Whether we like it or not, all of our actions are serving somebody. So we're either conforming to the world and serving the world or we're conforming to be like Jesus and serving God. And when you live a godly life, when you're conforming to be like Jesus instead of the world, it says that we'll understand more so God and His will. And it's also encouraging to hear that His will is good and pleasing. And that's what we pray for you guys today. To not be conformed to this world, but to live a life with eyes set on Jesus. For today's fun slot, we're gonna do another workout video. The link's gonna be down in the description and it's really great. It is hilarious to watch, so you guys should do that, and it's called Moana Yoga. We're going to put some closed captions on, and we're going to tell you the moves that we're doing. I hope you guys have fun. We're going to start with goddess pose. We're going to spread our legs just a little. <laughs> goddess pose. Yep. Bending our knees, arms out, like this. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> this I, looks a, like a crab. No, this is goddess pose. <gasps> it reminds me of my, my move on Fortnite. Oh, and then we're like sending Whoa. life over all the oceans, spreading life over the islands <laughs> for Moana. Down onto your knees, Rock. folding our body forwards. Oh, we're now doing Maui, getting some muscles. Oh, we're gonna kiss them. Kiss the arms. Uh, it's really close to her face. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does really close ups. Oh, we're doing the fish hug. All right. I lost my balance. Yeah, I remember my first time working out. Well done, everyone. But now he's escaping. He gets attacked oh, by- Oh, lava demon. Ah. Lava demon, she said. Yeah, that's what it's called, oh. but I was trying to avoid that part. Breathe. Whoosh, Whoosh lava, to lava, lava to Oh, that's what we're doing. Whoosh. Oh, this is great. I love this pose. All right. The baby girl. You're going to put your feet out in front of you. You're going to put one arm up into like your elbow and you're going to like rock your foot as if it was a baby. Baby Moana. Oh, she's so sweet. Wow, that was way harder than I expected. I'm not sure I can do it this way. Oh, this leg's easier. Maybe for you. I remember my first time stretching. Yeah. Oh, and we're gonna run into the waves with Moana. What's that song? Yeah. Uh, Find me. No, uh, oh, all of a sudden a beautiful green stone appears. Da, 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 it's Tapichi Moana. Bend our legs. Ooh. And then you're gonna pick up that stone chosen for all of a sudden her father calls and she stands up. Oh dear, she drops the stone back into the water. Daddy doesn't like how much the water seems to cool to her. What? Call to her. Oh. Moana's now chief in training. They're running out of food. Have a look inside the coconuts. I'm already not liking the coconut paws. Oh, Point so we're doing, we're doing core. <laughs> okay. She's wearing a onesie. Yeah, of course she's wearing a onesie. All right, she gets the oar to the boat. Otherwise known as your foot. Moana knows what she must do. Row, row, row your boat gently um, down the 
chemistry. I don't know. See, we need to get the heart stone too. Feety. To to feety. Yeah. Get the heart stone to to feety. Erupting lava bombs. Abs up. I don't know why we're doing this, but this is what we're doing, everybody. Oh, we're probably surfing. Do 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 do. Alright. Holds the stone pointing directly so it beams brightly towards her. Hush. With the heart stone inside, she says you will know who you truly are. And the magic happens! The, the end. end. I am Moana. No, she's not. And there's our Moana yoga video. Yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy that and the link's going to be down in the description. But I know the reason that most of you have watched this part or at least skipped to this part of the video is because you guys want to know who the winner is of our giveaway. Well, we're not going to tell you. <laughs> Just kidding. That would be really mean. Barty won. Why don't we drum roll? Everybody drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> and you in the back. I can see you. You drum roll too. <laughs> Alright, the winner is... As you're seeing right now, the winning amount was 316. So the closest guess was 315 without going over. So congratulations, Amanda. We will send some swag over to you via the mail. Woo! We want to thank everybody for taking a chance in the giveaway. And we will see everybody tomorrow. Bye! Bye.